If you are a college student or graduate and you want to become a United States Marine officer as a lawyer, pilot, or one of our ground specialties, you don't have to go through an ROTC unit or the United States Naval Academy. There are two commissioning sources available to you, the Platoon Leaders class and the Officer Candidates course. I've commissioned with the United States Marine Corps Judge Advocate Program. I am a candidate in the Platoon Leaders class, which is for college freshmen through juniors. I'm applying to be a United States Marine Aviator. I'm applying to the Officer Candidate course program for the United States Marine Corps that is available to college seniors and college graduates and uh, I am applying to be a ground officer. There's also a program for bar certified lawyers to become judge advocates. The Marine Corps allows you to commission before law school or while you're in law school. You can earn a rank while going through law school and even receive tuition assistance. As a judge advocate, I'll earn immediate courtroom experience unlike our civilian counterparts. Instead of just practicing one area, while serving with the Marine Corps, I'll be able to practice in areas such as defense, prosecution, family law, and national law and operational law. As a naturalized citizen to this country, I felt like being a Marine Corps judge advocate is one of the best ways I can give back and tribute, not only by serving, serving others through the practice of law, but also by leading Marines and contributing to this nation's cause. The best part about this program is that I have no obligation to the Marine Corps until I graduate and commission. So a lot of things can pop up throughout a uh, college career and through that many opportunities can arise and what's nice about it is that I'm not obligated to join the Marine Corps. If a once in a lifetime opportunity does arise, I can take a different path. And the reason for joining the Marine Corps is because it's now, it's about time that I give back to them. Um, I've been given a ton of opportunity traveling the world. The platoon leader class was a great fit for me. I wanted to go to Clemson, but they didn't offer a Marine Corps ROTC program, so the PLC program through them allows me to go to the school I want while also becoming a Marine Corps officer at the same time. All right. After completing one OCS session, I'll be eligible to receive up to approximately $8,000 to help me pay for tuition. At Clemson, tuition goes up every semester, and it's great not to have to worry about taking out any student loans for that. I wanted to push myself, you know, prove to myself I could do whatever I wanted to. I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and just be the best person I could be, and the Marine Corps was the route to take. You know, I have a family history of Navy and Marine Corps and just want to make them proud. The Marine Corps guarantees qualified applicants a seat in flight school before they enter the program. I know exactly what I'll be doing when I commission. When I get to flight school, I have the opportunity to fly planes, jets, or helicopters. I don't have to have prior flight experience before I apply. The reason I chose to become a United States Marine Aviator is to fight for my country and fly for my country. Let's go. Since I will already be a college graduate at the end of officer candidate school, I will be commissioned as a second lieutenant in United States Marine Corps. There are over 20 different military career opportunities available as a ground officer, anything from infantry to logistics to communication and many more. I, uh, I aspire to be an officer in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, just to lead Marines, um, that's, a, that's a challenge that uh, very few can accomplish and, uh, and I think that would make me a better man and a better leader. If you think you're up for the challenge to lead United States Marines, visit MarineOfficer.com or visit your local officer selection station today. Lead, lead Marines! Marines.